Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It is your girl, Jalissa. Welcome back, my OGs. How are you guys doing? And if anyone here happens to be new, welcome home. So happy to have you. Bless. All right. So today's topic is a channeled message from your person. I am going to channel a message from the person on your mind, okay? I am going to give you a description at the very beginning of the reading so you know that we are connecting to the right person. Bless. Now, if you're new to pick a card readings, the way this works is that I lay out three options for you. Pa one, you got the fox. This is pa one. Pa two, you got the frog. Pa three, you got the raccoon bless all right so take your time guys meditate over the cards see which one is calling your name if you have more than one person you're interested in or you're or you're wanting a message from you could pick more than one pile each pile is going to be very different keep that in mind when you are ready to pick a pile choose your pile go to your reading just so you know, there is timestamps listed down below. Mm -hmm. So in the description, you will find timestamps for each pile. That's going to be underneath this video, babe. Blessed. Now, while you're meditating over the cards, let me zoom in a little bit so you get a better view. Okay. While you're meditating over these cards and picking your pile, I'm going to give you a quick PSA. Blessed. All right. So PSA, guys. Right now, I have 40% off my manifestation shop. If you didn't know, I make manifestation candles. These are homemade candles, very powerful candles. They're loaded with holy oils, spiritual oils, and I also do Reiki to my candles. So I have many different intentions, and I also have a lot of limited time candles for the holidays, which is my collection, the Stardust Candles. It's so beautiful. Have you ever seen a latte candle? If you haven't, go ahead and check out my shop to check that out, okay? And the smells are spectacular. I also have can um crystals, <laughs> um books, pens, decks, divination tools. I'm actually going to use one of my decks here, the Music Oracle Volume 3. This is a Lyric Oracle deck. And it's available for pre-order on my shop right now. The decks will be delivering or they will be shipping out in January. So do keep that in mind. But the reason I am putting it up for pre-order is so you can enjoy that 40% off. This 40% off only comes around the end of the year for the holidays. So do take advantage, guys. Rack up. I also have spiritual baths if need. Sage, Palo Santo, jewelry. Yeah, I got almost everything. <laughs> Bless. All right. And also, if you want to book me for your own personal reading, I do channel messages. I look into certain subject and matters for you, of course. And it's a more one on one basis. So you'll get more detailed messages in the personal readings. The link to book me is listed down below. By the way, I also do 18 plus readings. FYI, if anyone's interested, <laughs> bless. Um, that's that, that's who, and that's what's up. I do want to say thank you. Thank you so much. This week, I received a couple donations. You guys are just so sweet and so supportive, and your girl feels blessed. I am so blessed to have my soul tribe here, the OGs, the originals, and I'm so blessed to be on this journey. I just feel so good, and I'm happy I'm able to help anyone with my gift and my light. It really makes me feel good that I'm doing something here for the collective, for the world, how I feel, <laughs> humanity. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell button. Bless. But yes, thank you guys so much for those donations. The donations go right back to the channel, FYI. Anybody donates to the channel, just know that I get more decks with that. <laughs> I really do. I am the deck queen. I have libraries of decks, and it's one of my favorite things to collect. So any donations that are sent in for the channel towards me, they go right back to the channel. So I'm saying thank you on behalf of me. And thank you on behalf of the family, because everybody gets to enjoy that donation. Bless. Um, yeah. And guys, if you didn't know, I do hold a monthly raffle. We just had our first monthly winner this month of November. Bless. Shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> um, and what I give away 
is a free reading plus a box full of goodies for the free. And this is my way of giving back to the community, my way of giving back to my family members. You guys are so supportive. You guys are my day ones, my writers. And I want to give back. I want to, you know, I feel so blessed. So I want to bless forward. And so this is my way of doing that. And the only thing you have to do to qualify or be enrolled for the monthly raffle is subscribe, hit that bell button and comment on at least one video per month. And you are in it to win it. Winners are always announced at the end of the month on my community board. So always check out to see if you are a winner. Bless. All right. So let's get it. Let's go, guys. Pile one, pile two, pile three. I will find you at your pile for your reading. Bless. Hello there, Paul One. How are you doing? If you chose the fox, you are at your reading. Bless. Now let's connect real quick. All right, let's get it. Let's go. So you got the fox. Now let me tell you about your person's energy. First of all, this is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they may have this in their chart. All right. You may want to check out their natal chart to see their placements if you don't know yet. But the fox, I am definitely getting someone very attractive. All right. Foxes are attractive. Foxes are really good looking. Um, when it comes to your person and this fox energy, it's giving me a quick learner. All right. This is someone who is very enchanting, someone that has the gift for gab, someone that knows how to talk, especially when it comes to money. All right. This person has the gift of gab when it comes to money business propositions offers getting money um hustling this is like the person for the job all right this person's energy is all about um a deal okay this person will negotiate a deal like it's nobody's business <laughs> um the fox is also like a really good teacher the fox usually teaches you a lesson or could be a teacher, like work in a school, um, be a counselor, very good with people, teaching people how to do things. As the fox is a very quick learner, the fox always um, is up to like pass on information. The fox is very wise as well. When the fox is in good energies, when the fox is in balance, positive vibes, high vibrational energies, the fox is magical. The fox manifests opportunities like it's nobody's business. The fox is this ingenious teacher, handing down information, gems. All right, um, the fox is like a sponge when it's in its good energy because it wants to learn more. It it gets a the fox gets basically like a thrill out of teaching others, passing on information, okay? But when the fox is in an imbalanced energy, all right, out of balance, out of touch, the fox is very sneaky, very sneaky, very, very sneaky. And being that the fox has the gift for gab, in an unbalanced, sneaky energy, the fox would be a liar, the fox would know how to lie its way in and out of situations, manipulate, gaslight, these sorts of things. When the fox is also out of balance or out of touch, it's unsure of its identity. So it's not sure who they are. It's not sure where they're going. It's like in this crisis energy. So when the fox is out of balance, you don't really want to be around, <laughs> all right? Because the fox will trick you because the fox doesn't feel like stable, doesn't feel as if they know where they're going or who they are in a sense. When someone doesn't know their own identity, it's kind of like stand for something or fall for anything. The fox falls for anything and then finds itself having problems and needing to escape. And instead of taking accountability for the problems, it just sneaks away. OK, so that's when it's not in good energy. Um, the fox is a family oriented person when it slips away from its um, tribe or its pack it kind of loses sense of self so the fox needs to be around family needs to be around loved ones if not they lose themselves or you know they feel out of place and it could be a very you know uncomfortable feeling for the fox to be away from family or home or the comfort zone you know 
All right, so that's what I got. So this is the energy I'm pulling for you, Pawan. This is your person's energy. Now we're going to go into the Music Oracle deck. And this is my deck, which is available for pre-order right now on my shop, 40% off. The songs you guys pulled is I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys, which is my ego card. And then you also pulled Provencia, which is by Karo G, Nostalgic. Some songs in this deck are bilingual, and I do have them translated for those who don't um, listen to Latin music. Now, let's get it. Let's go. So somebody could be Latin or um, mixed, biracial. So we got I Want It That Way. I'm going to read it to you real quick. Now I can see that we've fallen apart from the way that I used to be. Yeah. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are my fire, the one desire. You are, you are, you are. Don't want to hear you say, ain't nothing but a heartache, ain't nothing but a mistake. Don't want to hear you say, I never want to hear you say, oh yeah, I want it that way. Tell me why, ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why, ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say, don't want to hear you say, I want it that way. All right, so I feel like there was a clash here between you and your person, Pa One. All right, power plays. All right, you wanted something a certain way. They wanted it their way. You know, you guys had some sort of disagreement or differences in this connection. And they, they didn't want to hear what you had to say. And maybe you didn't want to hear what they had to say. There, There's a miscommunication here for sure. But deep down inside, I'm getting Pawan. one. You are this person's fire. All right. You are their source because I'm seeing um a boiler. I don't know if you know this, but a boiler, depending on the type of boiler, it has a little fuse, like a little fire that stays lit that gets the whole machine going in a sense. Or I don't know. It just is always lit. <laughs> okay. That, for what I know of, I'm not really a mechanic or anything like that. So maybe somebody works in plumbing or or is a mechanic or works with tools. But that little fire needs to stay on for the boiler to work, to heat up the whole house. And I'm getting you're that fire for this person, Pa One. I am getting that. Like, you are the source to love for this person. That's the way they see you. But unfortunately, you guys clash because of their ego. They, their ego got in the way, all right? I, I feel like this person, Pa One, um, may be in the imbalanced Fox energy where they became sneaky or they became a little bit tr like a trickster. And you may have called them out on that and they didn't like that. That's why they're saying, don't want to hear you say I didn't want to hear what you had to say about their behavior because their behavior was kind of um, inconsistent. <laughs> and then we have here Provencia by Karo G, which is my nostalgic card. And I'm going to read the English verse here. Well, the translation. Baby, what's up? I haven't heard from you in a while. I was with someone, but I'm free now. Set to relive old times. I have been out for a while. You tell me where it's at. It's been a while since I heard from you. I was with someone, but I'm free now. Set to relive old times. I haven't been out in a while. Shh. Daddy, let's get lost. We park and we turn it on. We drink something and even we get drunk. One of reggaetons we put and we go where we can love each other. We can eat each other. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of passion here. Like, there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, Paul One. I'm getting they're interested with the baby what's up, all right? So I feel like they were occupied with someone because they're saying here, I was with someone, but I'm free now. I want to relive those old memories, you know? I want to make new memories. I want a light one. So somebody could be a smoker, all right? I want a light one. I want to drink something with you. Like, they want to... Be a little intoxicated with you is what I'm getting. You know, when you drink, your defenses come down. All right. So they they want to travel with you because they're talking about a car here. Like, let's let's light one in the car. Let's get drunk. Let's have fun. Let's eat each other. All right. So they definitely think about oral sex when it comes to y'all connection and putting their mouth all over you. 
All right, so let me lay out the cards. So this is who we're talking about, Pa One. I wanted to describe the vibe, the connection, and what's going on. So you know that you're at your reading. Now I'm going to channel the message from your person. If you're new, the way this goes is that I read the message to you as if I am your person. All right, let's go. Spirit, what would Pa One's person like to say to Pa One at this time? What would Pa One's person... Oy. Wow, they like to say a lot. The whole deck almost opened. What would they like to say? What would Pa One's person like to say to Pa One at this time? Mm, we have the Two of Swords. Okay. We have Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius. I did get Fire over here with... I want it that way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Swords. We have Justice, Libra. We have the Six of Swords. And then we have the hangman at the back of the deck. That's Neptune, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now I'm going to lay out these pre-shuffled cards that I got for you. All right, so we have worth waiting for. You deserve love. Can't move on. New challenge. April, assertive, fire, new beginnings, holding on, childhood wounds, drowning, Confident. Miss Lazy Daisy. Lone Wolf. That's crazy because we have the wolf and the wolf here. I didn't even know that. Honestly, I didn't even peep game because when I shuffle, I just like put the cards in. I don't really look because then everyone's a surprise for me. <laughs> Rising Star. A loyal companion. That is the Little Red Riding Hood. And it does give um, the Big Bad Wolf too. We have Workplace Romance. Bonding. And Time Apart. Alright, so let's get it. Let's go. Hey, babe, I hope you're doing well. I have a message for you. I want you to know that my mind has not been made up. I honestly don't know what to do at this time. I really tried moving on. I tried by removing things that remind me of you. I tried by acting like our love, our connection didn't exist. But I can't escape our love. I can't escape our relationship. I don't know what to do. I don't even understand personally how, why I can't move on. I know you meant so much to me. And I know this more now than ever because I was in denial. In denial about what I felt for you in denial about our connection. I thought I would be able to move on. I thought I would be able to find someone or find a way to get over this connection. But I'm here to tell you that I haven't. 
I have not been able to move on. I'm actually challenging myself right now to heal, to remove the noise, to remove the things in my life that have set me back, that have distracted me from ascending, that have, astra that have distracted me from healing. I'm working right now on healing and that is my main priority. I want balance in my life. I need balance in my life. This climb, this season of healing, it's not easy. Who knew healing could be so hard? But nonetheless, I'm getting there. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I've never felt such a strong connection for someone. I am just in lost of words. I, I know what I want to say to you, but sometimes I get nervous because I don't want to come off odd or weird. But nonetheless, I've been grieving. I've been grieving your loss. I've been grieving our relationship. I can't believe it's over. Sometimes I go to places that remind me of you and I start to cry because I just can't believe it. It was so unexpected, but it did change me. It changed me and it helped me move on from things that weren't healthy for me. I'm sorry if you see me as a traitor. I didn't mean to be a traitor. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I was fired up. I was angry. I was upset. I couldn't help it. Just the thought of you possibly being with someone else or, you know, I was just assuming so much at the time. I was thinking about you, work, you being in a relationship with someone at work or doing something with someone, possibly at work. And this really frustrated me because I saw you as someone that is loyal. And I do know you are loyal at this point, but it took me a minute to see it. I let my anger get the best of me and I feel responsible I feel hurt because I wish I could have done things differently and we wouldn't be at this point. But I do believe in a higher power and I do believe that everything happens for a reason. So maybe we needed some time apart. Maybe we needed to go through that pain to realize things we never realized before about ourselves. I have definitely changed. There is a new me in town, and I can't wait to reintroduce myself to you. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, and I'm waiting for God, the universe, source, to give me a sign. I'm not pressuring the agenda. I'm not. I'm leaving it to God. I'm leaving it to the universe. If we just so happen to cross paths or the universe gives me a sign, I'll run for it. But right now I'm more focused on healing. I went through a lot of pain with our ending. For me, it felt like a betrayal. And that's my point of view. And you may have seen it as a betrayal too. It was very painful, very painful. But like I said, it changed me for the better. I'm moving, yeah, I'm moving to calmer waters. I'm leaving all the chaos behind. Anything and everything that has brought me any pain or distraction is staying behind. I'm leaving. I want to start fresh. I want to start new. And I hope that new beginning involves you. I do. I'm still holding on despite our silence. You're still very much in my heart. When I wake up, I think about you. When I go to sleep, I think about you. Sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I wanna cry. 
It really all depends on my mood that day. But I do think about you. And I do think about us having like a clean slate. Us starting from scratch. And possibly maybe starting a family. That would be pretty cool. That would be. And I want you to know, if there's anything you take away from this message here today from me to you, is that you deserve love. And I'm sorry if I didn't love you the right way. I'm sorry if I didn't give you the love you felt you deserved. But you do deserve love. And you are definitely lovable. Sometimes I feel like a failure for not loving you right and letting my ego get in the way. Letting my pride get in the way. I see you shining. I see you looking right. I see you. You are my star. You are. I'm seeing your transformation, and it looks good. I feel like there's going to be a favorable outcome between us. At least that's what I pray for. Right now, I don't really have the energy to come towards you because there's a lot going on. There is, like I said, I am trying to cut cords with everything and everyone that is toxic in my life. And that requires a lot of energy. Work is also in the way, just so you know. So I'm procrastinating this new beginning, but nonetheless, it's what I want. It's my priority. Right now, though, I'm not going to make an effort. I'm just letting you know. But soon, I will be making an effort. I see you. You look so strong all by yourself. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of your transformation. I'm so proud that you don't need someone to fill in a void. You took the opportunity after this ending, after this separation, to heal and work on yourself. And don't think I didn't notice, because I so noticed. You look happy, single. And even though it's a little sting for me, but I am happy to see that you look happy, single. Yeah, I'm happy for you. You look like a star, baby. You're looking real good. And I'm happy you're single, because... It gives me hope that there's a possibility for you and me. I'm so tired, though. Like, work really has gotten the best of me. This time apart has been tough, but it has been an eye-opener. And I want you to know that the bond between me and you is like no other. We have so much in common, and I haven't been able to find someone that gives me that vibe. I'm working on my inner child. I know that I have a lot of work to do. I know that my childhood, my upbringing, my parents, my past relationships have affected me. And I have just buried the pain instead of facing it. But this hard, rock bottom ending that we went through, it made me sit down and focus. I started focusing on how did we get here? Why did we get here? And how could I sabotage such a beautiful relationship? How? All I can do is reflect and think about the moments, all the moments, the good, the bad. I'm trying to math, and I, I still haven't come up with the solution. I still haven't come up with the answer as to why. But I have a feeling that it is deep. That's why I didn't notice it at first. But with the time and the space that we have had apart, I've been able to notice that it's me. I'm not going to tell you this because you know I got an ego, but I will confess it right here, right now to you. And it's me, my inner child wounds, my pain, my hurt that I never spoke about, that I never healed since I was younger. I'm still learning how to love. And 
I want to just apologize for hurting you. I let my inner child take the wheel and we crashed. And all I can do is just learn from the situation. Since spring, April, I've been drowning. I've been drowning. I've been feeling overwhelmed. I've been feeling just stressed out with the responsibilities in my life. My responsibilities have grown. The commitments in my life, everything is just making me feel like overwhelmed, stressed. I have all these emotions bottled up and I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like I cannot speak. This is why I feel like I have to let things go in my life. I'm overwhelmed because of all the responsibilities everybody is throwing at me. And it's just too much. I can't do it anymore. I feel like I'm at a breaking point. And I feel like the universe wants me to start over, wants me to start fresh, where I feel more comfortable, where I feel more free. I'm sorry I spoke over you. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. You know, I'm a very confident person on the outside, but I am very fragile on the inside. I have to put up this barrier. I have to put up this act because I need to defend myself and others. And that's just how I was raised. I was raised to defend myself since a young age. So I'm sorry that I got loud. I'm sorry that I put my foot down and that I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry that I acted too cool for school and nonchalant like you didn't mean anything to me because honestly, you mean the world to me. I'm sorry I lost my composure. I know sometimes I let how others treat me and how I feel about myself, you know, and my looks um, get the best of me. And I really think my head was inflated. I really feel like our ending, our separation has been such a humbling moment where now I know looks ain't everything. Looks are not everything. I know I look good, baby. You look good, too. And for whatever reason, you know, I was I was in my ego. I was just, you know, toing my horn, fluffing my feathers. And I thought I had it going on. And I'm going to just be honest that I let that get the best of me. That was real shallow of me. A part of me is upset that this has happened because... I don't know what the future brings, but a part of me is happy that it happened because it was able to see, it was able to show me a part of me that I couldn't even see, that I was blind to see. I am reaping karma for what I did, and it hurts, but I'm not mad because I feel like a newer, better version of me is coming out of all of this. And I feel like what I feel for you, babe, is unconditional. And there will always be a place for you in my heart. I love you. Woo, okay. <laughs> okay, Paul, one. You heard that? All right, so um, some of y'all could have just went through a glow up or some sort of... um change this could be with your appearance or this could be with your endeavors because your person is definitely bringing it up um there's something your person is seeing within you that has changed and they like it they like it a lot they're also changing okay they're also doing their work like you're motivating them to change you're motivating them to um grow to blossom there is like they're following the leader in a sense okay you push them to grow, you push them to change. Now let's get some charms so we could get a little more confirmation as to, you know, who's who, what's what, and what's going on. All right, but I see they want a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. If you're open to that, oof. If you're open to a new beginning, they want that. Yeah. I feel like both of y'all needed this though, like for growth. 
I feel like there was a massive lesson here at play. They taught you a lesson, honey bunny. And you taught them a lesson too. No matter how painful it is, you gotta acknowledge that. Confirmation. You learned the lesson, they learned the lesson, everybody learns a lesson here. Y'all was definitely at school. <laughs> we all learning lessons out here. <laughs> Alright, so we a lot of balls. Okay. Now let me get some initials out here. For some of y'all, there was a, ro uh, a workplace romance, all right? There could have been some sort of interference, like work or work and love, like or messing with someone at work or something like that. That's for some, not all, though. But I did get that. All right, so initials, first, middle, last initial. This could be yours or theirs. All right, so we have F, H, M, S, Q, C, A, AZ, I'm getting like Arizona, California. We have GH, JV, S, G, E, R, okay, V. Somebody may have like an RV or somebody likes to camp travel. We have MM, GH, TI. Somebody could be from Atlanta. Y Z I A A I. All right, somebody could use like artificial intelligence. All right, so let's go over here. So we have volleyball. We also have soccer. I'm getting, you may have played volleyball or soccer with them. Oh, here comes Bubbles. Sorry, guys. Let me make room for her. Where are you going, girl? She came out. She wanted to show face. Hold on. All right, like, what are we doing, Bubbles? All right, so it's a surprise. I feel like her coming out is a surprise. She's, OMG, look, she's like mesmerized by my candle. I think she's telling you to get my candle. This one's for abundance and road opener. So it brings in money and it brings in opportunities. It opens up doors. All right, it's very powerful. Look, she's going back up. So I feel like she came down just to show you that candle. Like, no cap. You may want to check out that candle. Okay. I do feel like she's also telling you that more money is coming and opportunities for you because that's what that candle symbolizes. It brings money and opportunities. All right. Available on my shop, 40% off down below. <laughs> um, Somebody likes to smoke weed, all right? Or they could be like a street pharmacist. We got the little dime bag here. <laughs> my favorite charm. All right. We have the bobo here. So babies um, could be a factor or children could be a factor. You definitely need to drink more water, baby. We have the water bottle here. All right, so we have the three of pentacles. I feel like work is a factor because work came up, work, romance, work. And then we have here the three of pentacles. How do you want that to fall spirit? Let's see how it came out. The two of swords in reverse. All right, so I'm getting that Um, there's going to be some sort of compromise moving forward. I feel like you guys... And it's funny with that Two of Swords, because if you check out this Two of Swords, where is it? We just had it. Hold up, guys. Um, if you check this Two of Swords out, in the in the right away tarot, the traditional tarot deck, is just one person blindfolded and handcuffed, kind of, with like holding swords and in their thoughts and by the moon and not knowing what to do, blindfolded to the situation, you know, stuck. Um, but in this deck, it's two people in a nut. And they're both, like, fighting, but there's a nut between their swords. So they can't fight. I'm getting your person um, and the two of swords here. Yeah, this is the right away one. See? It's a girl sitting by the water. And her hands are crossed. She's blinded to the situation. With it being in reverse, I'm getting that... Your person's going to want to work things out and compromise. They don't want to fight. There's a nut between the swords. So I'm getting that y both of y'all don't want to fight. All right? Y'all don't want to fight each other. Something about opening up here and not wanting to fight. Maybe there was a lot of fighting in the past or a lot of anger in the past. All right? So we have here, um, so I'm getting time has passed. Things are cool now. All right? So we have school fees, $50. All right, so I'm getting, um, you're going to be shocked. I don't know. There's something here about maybe someone works for a school. We have tennis here. 
Um, you're going to be shocked with some sort of school fees. Maybe it's $50. I don't know. Um, my son's um, team, they always asking for money. So, you know, it could be something like that. <laughs> we have, you have been elected chairman of the board. Pay each player $50. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of unexpected bills. Um, this could be their energy, all right? This could be why they were so focused on money and work and stuff like that. Maybe they had like unexpected bills coming in left and right, like school bills, loans needed to be paid. Um, probably they got some sort of job here and they needed to pay people or they needed to pay back some money at work or something. Um, I'm getting they get a position. They think it's going to be all good because who doesn't want to be chairman, right? That means you get to make decisions. So it's giving manager, CEO, boss, energy, supervisor, energy business owner energy but i'm getting paying a lot of people or paying a lot of things so people think because you have your own business okay i have a few businesses myself people feel like because you have your own business you're a baller like yeah you could be bringing in a lot of money but people need to take into consideration the cost of property um machines or workers um inventory the cost of taxes you know the cost of like just getting that business flowing and keeping it flowing, you know, especially if you have coworkers or not coworkers, but like employees or whatever. There's something here about your person needing to pay a lot of bills. OK, so I feel like that was a factor in this situation because it's being brought up all these bills. All right. We have an X here. So they may have like, you know. With the 10, the X is the 10. Um. They may have ended things because of money or like because they were stressed out. They had a lot of bills to pay. They had to work, um, something like this, or they were worried about it. We have Sprite. Somebody could really like Sprite. We have shots being fired here. So I feel like there was gossip. All right, there was shots fired. Someone could have just, you know, hit beneath the belt, you know, like a low blow. She believes she could, so she did. All right, so you may have said something to them like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You... You see what's going to happen. Like, you may have said you were going to do something to this person when you guys fell apart. And you actually did it. And they're proud of you. All right. We have the number two here. Um, the number two could be significant. February could be significant. All right. Um, somebody could be born on the second. Mm, maybe this compromise is happening in two days, two weeks, two months. OK, we have the donuts here. So somebody likes donuts or maybe they like Dunkin Donuts a lot um, or you do. We have the medical notepad here. So somebody could work in the medical field or um, someone's a teacher for reals. I'm getting a teacher vibe here. Somebody's a teacher. All right. We have the book here. Um, write down your manifestations. Write down like start journaling your experiences. Start putting everything down on paper because I'm getting this is going to help you, boo. Mm -hmm. We have Mentos gum. So somebody may really like that. Maybe somebody really likes to have mentals in their car or something. We have Wander Bread. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of money matters here. Like somebody was after some sort of money, bread. That was the motive. Okay. We have Boom Chaka Poop. <laughs> boom Chaka Pop. All right. Popcorn. <laughs> somebody may really like popcorn. All right. I'm getting a little baby girl could be significant. They definitely have love for you, all right? A daughter could be significant or something like that. All right, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing you need to take a bath, Pawan. All right, a spiritual bath that is, not that you stink. <laughs> Don't take it that way. All right, but yeah, you need to take a spiritual bath. I sell those on my shop, 40% off right now. All right, we have baking soda. All right, somebody may really like to bake or somebody, you know, be flicking that wrist. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not explaining. All right, we have s'mores here. <laughs> um somebody may really like camping or you may have gone camping with them i'm getting somebody has like road rage somebody's like really angry behind the wheel i'm getting somebody crashes because they're driving angry or something like that all right they may destroy their car or mess up their car or someone messes up a car because they're angry or i don't know there's something here about being angry in a car or being angry about a car yeah <laughs> that part all right so Pawan, it was a pleasure reading for you. I hope you really enjoyed this reading as much as I did. And you can let me know by giving me a thumbs up for sure. 
subscribing if you haven't already, and definitely hitting that bell. Hitting that bell is important because YouTube will notify you every time I post, okay, which is frequent, but you, YouTube, if you don't have the bell on, they notify you when they feel like it, okay? Um, let me know in the comments how you felt about this reading, and let me know what else you would like to hear on the channel, what other topics you would like to touch. I love you guys so much. And if you want to book me for your own personal, the link is listed down below. Do keep in mind, the return time is 72 hours, not including weekends, because your girl does need to rest. I learned a major lesson recently with not resting and not recharging. And yeah, your girl's not doing that anymore. All right, so I do need to rest and I do need to recharge because I am human, even though I am a divine being <laughs> all right guys i love you so much i'm sending y'all love light and everything nice Mwah. i hope to see you in the comments or in the next one deuces bless hey there pal two welcome to your reading if you chose the frog you are at your reading oh hi bubbles bubbles is here to say hello she is premiering for you and stretching for you pal too i feel like that's a sign <laughs> all right so i feel like your person is going to be popping up out of nowhere or surprising you it's giving me a pop-up all right let's go bless bubbles is not sure she's right here she's not sure if she's staying or going all right so i feel like your person isn't sure what they're doing all right, yeah, they're a little scared. I'm getting someone. <laughs> I'm trying to see what she's going to do. What are you doing, Bubbles? She's observing the fish, connecting to water, because this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so it's funny that she wasn't here for POW 1. I mean, she did pop up towards the end, but then she left. She just gave a message and left. But for you, POW 2, she's actually present here. And this is one of my familiars. So when bubbles comes through is a message. All right. So let's connect, Pato. I'm going to tell you a little bit about your person so you know that you're at the right reading. Oh, damn. Okay. She's over here flexing. I feel like your person's a flexer. <laughs> All right. They like to show out a little bit. Show up. Show out. Mm -hmm. All right. So the frog. Let's connect. So your person may have a lot of um, water in their chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you don't know their chart, check it out. Check out their natal chart. Now let's talk about this frog energy, and then we're going to tap into your music cards, and then I'm going to channel your message, okay? So you know that this is your person. All right, so the frog is a very sensitive creature, and the frog does remind me of, like, Disney movies. You know how they say you got to kiss a couple of frogs before you meet your prince? or princess, however it goes, flip the role if needed. I read for both sex. All right, um, right, I'm getting that, Pal 2, this person is a frog. All right, so I feel like you kissed the frog. It hasn't turned into a prince or a princess yet. All right, we're going to get into that a little deeper in a second. Um, But yeah, nonetheless, there's a lot of water here. I'm getting that there's this energy between you and this person, and it gives inseparable, like the energy between y'all two is very strong and it's been oh what was that something fell all right so i'm getting a clash i'm getting you guys had a very bad fallout or a clash okay um now the frog is a deceiver because the frog does look like an earthly animal being that it does spend time on grass on leaves on land but it loves the water. So that's where that deceiving energy is. And it needs the water. The frog needs to consistently go to water to heal. Okay. And it has a very strong connection to water. So I'm getting your person likes to go to the beach a lot. Or likes to go to rivers. Or likes to go to pools. Or likes to be in baths. Or likes to be in water a lot. Takes a lot of showers. There's a deep connection here with water, okay? It could be connected to the marine kingdom, Yamaya, Poseidon energies for sure. Um, I'm getting that your person here needs to be cleansing consistently. There's a reason for that because I'm getting a lot attaches to your person. Your person is like a magnet and your person after a while gets a little bit overwhelmed and needs to detach and go to the water. That's something that I see your person frequently doing or does a lot. Mm-hmm. Your person tends to become overworked and 
when they become overworked because they want to take on so much, they don't focus on their health, whether that's their mental health, their physical health, or their spiritual health. I'm getting undernourished, all right? So they tend to um, forget about themselves when they're working or when they're after some sort of goal. They put too much on their platter. They take on too much. They get shit done, but then they feel depleted, tapped out, and then they need to go hermit or disappear for a little while to recharge. And that's something that your person is always going to do because that's just who they are, <laughs> just so you know. Um, it's not a bad thing, you know? It's just who they are, it's, you know? It's your person. Um <laughs> I'm getting that self-care is very important when it comes to your person. So if your person isn't caring for themselves, they are going to be whacked out. All right. They need to take care of themselves more than the average person because they get depleted more than the average person. They're empathic, whether they know it or not. They're very sensitive to others' energies. And I'm getting a lot of people do gravitate towards your person and they tend to get overwhelmed and stressed. Mm hmm. I feel like your person right now needs to cleanse. I feel like your person right now needs to cleanse, needs to forgive whatever happened here between y'all two. I feel like they're still harboring some of that pain. I'm getting resentment. They need to release that. I feel like they still have that in their aura, in their field. They need they need to re they need to dump, all right? There's a lot that needs to be dumped here that they're holding on to. I'm getting something about travel. Mhm. Mm yeah. And I'm getting them holding on to something really heavy that they haven't let go of. But I'm getting they're, they're about to do this, okay? Like, they're getting to that breaking point where they're going to find a way to release this heavy burden, this this heavy load. There's a lot of energies here that they have bottled up that they need to release. Is about to explode is what I'm getting. When the frog in his, When the frog is in a good energy, when the frog is balanced... It has clear energy. It has this um, enthusiasm for life. It's very open. It's very excited. But when the frog is out of whack or in balance, which is what I'm kind of getting right now for your person, Peltu, um, they're depleted. They're running on E. They're empty. And I'm getting this vibe here with your person. Like, they're running on E. They're empty. Um, When they don't go to the water or when they don't, like do that self-care and heal what the universe does is break the car down and get them sick and not get them sick because <laughs> that sounds kind of mean but it's kind of like the universe pushes them to isolate themselves by making them sick so that they could spend time alone and heal and take a time out and rest because the frog tends to put a lot on their plate and yeah, so that's what I'm getting. This is your person. Now, let's go into the music oracles. This is my music deck, volume three. It is available right now for pre-order, 40% off, and it will ship out in January. So let's see what you got. All right, so we got Barbie World, Nicki Minaj fe featuring Ice Spice, the It Girl vibes, It Boy vibes, take it how it resonates. And then we also got Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. I called this the karmic card. All right, so let's tap in. Barbie world. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. I can br You can brush my hair undress me everywhere imagination life is your creation i'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world dress me up make me walk i'm your dolly ken you're my doll rock and roll feel the glamour and pain kiss me here touch me there hanky panky all right so that's one and then we have um bad romance by lady gaga I want your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's free. I want your love, 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 love. I want your love, hey. I want your drama, the touch of your hand, hey. I want your leather studded kiss in the sand. I want your love, 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 love. I want your love, 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 love. I want your love. You know that I want you. And you know that I need you. I want it bad, your bad romance. I want your love. I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. 
I want your love and all your lovers revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. All right. So hmm. I'm getting that this was a lesson, pal too, nonetheless. And you may have learned a very um, tough lesson with this person or you're learning a tough lesson with this person. Take it how it resonates. But I am getting a lot going on here. I'm getting that this person likes drama. All right, this person feeds off drama. They like knowing about your exes. They want to know all about your exes for whatever reason. So they could have your lover's revenge or they could show you out or show, show you off. Like I'm getting someone that likes to boast their person, all right, to get other people mad. Or maybe this is their exes. Like I'm getting here a lot of drama, <laughs> all right? I'm getting pal too. You're very popular. You could be... um very popular you could be on the scene you could have like a really powerful name or you could be a celebrity or you could just be that it factor the it girl the it boy i am getting that this person likes to party i'm getting this person likes to have fun they may like to drink okay because with all this water they could be a heavy drinker or they like to drink okay period they like to get lit all right let's go party barbie all right so it's giving me kind of like you know barbie and ken their plastic dolls all right it's giving me like a little bit of fakeness like your person tends to wear a facade and um they they tend to like is is like they tend to act dumb all right they tend to create a fantasy world they tend to wear a mask is what i'm getting pal to and it's giving unhealthy i'm not gonna lie to you all right it's giving that you guys met for a reason, though. Like, y'all were destined to cross paths because they taught you a lesson and you are definitely teaching them a lesson. And I'm getting that they knew what they were doing. They act dumb, but they're not dumb, okay? So whatever went on here, some sort of revenge, third-party situation, they knew exactly what they were doing. They wanted to get some sort of attention. They could have used your name or your clout or they could have used an ex uh, ex's name or clout or they could have had you compete with some sort of other person or they I, i'm feeling like they they feed off of that they feed off of um competition they feed off of revenge they feed off of the drama you know they like that shit so <laughs> somebody could be a bad girl or a bad boy somebody could wear like leather jackets um yeah, somebody could be like a rock star. Somebody could like to get lit, get fucked up, you know, use drugs, da da da, da whatever. I'm getting that vibe too. All right, they want you bad though, pal. Too is what I'm getting. They want to get lit with you. Mm hmm. They definitely want to be under the influence because that's when they're able to like bring their walls down, bring their guard down. Yeah, this person likes to um drink. Or likes to be intoxicated is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. All right. So <laughs> let's get a little more. <laughs> let's get a little more and see what else they would like to say to you. Okay. I want your lover. I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. Oh. oh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. Caught in a bad romance. All right, ra 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 ooh la la. Welcome to romance. All right, that's how that song goes. <laughs> Spirit, talk to me. What else, Paul Tools person, want to say to them? Thank you. All right, we have the chariot here, Cancer. Daisies could be significant. Some flowers could be significant. We have the magician. That is giving air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. That's planet Uranus. All right, we have the Nine of Swords, a little more air. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Devil, Capricorn. I want your loving, I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. We got flirt. Let your friends help you. Depending. 
and East Cave Glow Within Bitter Awkward Air Gemini Libra Aquarius Water Cancer Pisces Scorpio Trust Use your head Rocking Horse The Hand of Faith Proud Rebel Friendship Benefit of Doubt I gotta make room you are worthy. Healing connection. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for part two. Thank you. Bless. Hey, babe. I hope you're good. I hope you're blessed. I'm coming here to give you a message. I want you to know that I am sorry. Even though I can't muster up the courage to tell you this myself, I am sorry. The reason I'm holding back or the reason I'm acting a little bit different is because I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm blaming you. I have these built up feelings inside me that I need to release. I feel like I'm at a breaking point. I was not being empathic when it came to our connection. I was not thinking about your feelings. And for that, I do apologize. I'm sorry now. I wasn't sorry then. I wasn't thinking about you. I was thinking about myself. And that I realize now because my heart has grown three sizes ever since for you. You know what they say, you don't know what you got till it's gone. And this is that. Right now I'm drowning in my emotions. I feel helpless. I acted like a child. I did something stupid. I moved way too quickly. And allow someone else to change my life overnight. I'm asking my friends for help. I am. I'm hoping that their advice will help me with our connection. Because I am a little bit optimistic. I want to extend my light heart to you. I want to smell you. I want to hug you. I want to touch you. I want to hold your hand. But things are awkward now because of me, nonetheless, and my actions. I started something too fast, and I didn't know how to get out of it. I let someone put me into some sort of situation where I'm stuck, or at least I feel that way. I thought it would be successful, but I can't even sleep anymore. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I feel like, I don't know, honestly. It's hard for me to even explain what I'm feeling because I'm in a whirlwind of emotions. My emotions right now are intense. I'm in the middle of change, transition is what I feel because I don't even know who I am anymore. It's like I've lost a piece of my identity. I honestly don't know how to act when I'm around you. I feel awkward. I feel weird. I wouldn't know what to do if I was next to you right now. I feel like you're mad at me. 
and you have all the rights to be mad at me. I don't know why I didn't protect myself and protect my future when messing around out here in these streets. All I can do is think about you during these tough times. I think about your beauty. I think about your face. I think about your smell, your touch, how we used to flirt. That makes me smile. I feel like somebody used magic. I'm not going to hold you because I don't feel like this is normal. I feel like this person that I started to deal with does something or did something or I don't know. This person freaks me out. They freak me out. They do. I feel like they do something. I don't know what they're doing. I can't put my finger on it. I don't got concrete proof, but I know enough to know that this person plays with magic. They do something. And I feel like they did something for me to move fast away from you. I feel like they did something, maybe sex magic. I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on it, but I know I feel weird. And I can't sleep. I can't even, like, I can't even understand how I got to this point. I feel like I just was hypnotized and I was put under some sort of spell or what. I don't know what it is. But I'm just, like, waking up right now. And I'm like, what in the world did I do? How did I get here? Why is my life like this? It's so shocking, to be honest. I'm coming out this cave and I just feel like I was in a in a dark place and I was just being reckless and I did things I would have never done. Like, what did I do? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. I feel like I've been fighting for life. I've been fighting for my survival. I've been fighting for my happiness. I've been fighting for success. I've just been fighting. <sighs> and I don't know what to do anymore. So I'm coming out the cave. I can't hide anymore. I've been hiding because I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of the fact that I move so fast with someone. I'm ashamed of the fact that I let someone, I don't know how, but I let them convince me to start a family. I let them convince me to start something new with them, like without me finishing something with you. How? I don't know. That's why I think they did something. This is not normal. I'm starting to be really suspicious when it comes to this third party. I want a home with you. I don't want to fight with you, but I'm scared. The thought of speaking to you gives me anxiety. Right now, I'm definitely in a depression. I feel like I let the shadow get the best of me. I let my demons come out and play. I am learning such a big lesson. I feel like my life is karma right now. I'm in a non-traditional relationship right now with this toxic person who's obsessed with me, who doesn't let me breathe, who doesn't let me speak, who doesn't let me do anything. This person wants to control everything I do. I can't even sleep. It's so annoying. Like, ugh. I, I, that, that's why it's like I don't have energy right now I just don't babe I don't have energy and I'm sorry if I'm complaining to you and I'm coming off like kind of crazy or something like I'm sorry but this is really my world right now like right now like shit is haywire shit has hit the fan and I feel like I was in a uh, some sort of spell or I was hypnotized or something like because I don't even understand how I got to this point in my life. I, I definitely feel like this person put something in my drink or they put something or they did something. I don't know what they did, but I feel like they did something to try to get pregnant. They did something to, to make me move fast and start a life with them. Like, it's just ridiculous. And I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. But maybe this is my karma because I didn't think about you. And I didn't think about your feelings. And... I listened to my friends, and clearly their advice was bullshit. Like, what the hell was that? Look at my life. I feel like... 
out of place. Who can I trust when I can't even trust my friends? Who can I trust when everybody around me is undependable? I'm starting to use my head now. I wasn't using it before. I wasn't using my head before. I'm starting to think logically now. I'm being more rational. For sure, this was a rude awakening for me. I was trying not to let my emotions control me. And I learned a very valuable lesson, let's just say. I'm indecisive about what to do. I am definitely coming up out, out of this cave, for sure. I'm coming out of the darkness. Wherever it leads me, it leads me. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to hide anymore. I, I, just, I just want to break free. Like, I'm tired of the on and off. I'm tired of everything. I don't want to be on and off with you. I don't want this on and off relationship I got going on. I, I, just, I just don't want to be on and off with life anymore. I want stability. I want to be fulfilled. I want, I want success. But nonetheless, I do feel like this was faded. I feel like it was faded. I mean, I don't know if it's faded or if it was witchcraft or what it was. But I, I feel like something was faded here because, I mean, I feel like we were faded. That's for sure. I could tell you that much. I feel we were faded. And I feel like my friends hated. My friends hated. They told me to keep it casual. They told me not to take you serious. They told me to come out and have fun. They told me to break the rules and to go with this other person who is a badass, but look where it got me. Like, what is this? But I'm learning to love myself, and I am self-analyzing. I am finding myself. My heart is full of love, but for you, not for this person that got me to move fast with them and all this stuff, with selling me dreams and all types of stuff. Like, who is, like, oh... I'm so angry with myself. I'm so angry with my life. I can't believe this is my life right now. But my heart is cracking and my heart is opening right now. And the only reason it's beeping, it's pumping, it has any feeling or warmth is because of you. It's because of you. I want to give this relationship a chance, to be honest, but I need to establish this mess I need to figure out this situation with this baby or this life or whatever is going on here. I need to figure out what's what and if it's actually mine. I need to figure things out. But you're definitely worth it. And I want you to know that. Your worth doesn't depend on other people. And I love that about you. Like You don't need constant validation. You don't need people to tell you who you are and how much you're worth. You know you're worth. And I love that about you, babe. I really do. And I feel like you healed me and you heal me. And I feel like I need you so bad right now. But I feel so stupid. I feel crazy coming to you with these problems. I feel crazy coming to you with this burden, with my stress, with my anxiety, with my depression. Like, I don't want to come back like this. I want My idea was after our breakup, separation, our timeout, that I was going to get my ish together and I was going to be the best version of me and you were going to chase me. I had this whole vision in my head, but then here came this crazy person and made my world upside down. And I allowed it. And that's what pisses me off. I allowed it. And now it's like, could there ever be a us? I feel like you're mad at me. You're possibly bitter and you have reasons to be. I understand you. I'm mad at myself. So imagine, I can only imagine how you feel about me. But I feel like your love, your romance, your heart is so powerful. And I know it could help me and change me. But I feel guilty coming towards you with this mess, with this life of mine. Because I feel like I will only be a burden. But I'm still going to try. 
because I still love you. Damn. <laughs> all the interruptions. You heard all them interruptions? Jesus. Um, Hold on. My, all right. My uncle hitting me up. I had to tell him something. Somebody's uncle could be significant or something like that. I'm getting, listen, pal, too. Your person moved very quickly with someone. Maybe they were, like, I don't know, high drunk or intoxicated or something. They got somebody pregnant or they're expecting a baby or something like that. That's what I was getting, confirmation. All right, and I don't know. I don't think they told you this. Maybe they're not telling people this, but I'm getting they know. They know that they effed up. They know they got themselves in some deep shit. And I feel like there is sex magic here. I feel like someone did use alchemy magic, um, sex, to wrap your person up. But they didn't wrap it up. And that's why they're going through this whirlwind of karma, drama. Um, Jeez. Let's get, let's get some charms. <laughs> OMG. Like, if you listen to part one, you will see a whole different energy. Like everything like you, you would see a whole different delivery because when i channel i connect to your person and your person's energy is so they're frustrated they're literally at a breaking point they messed up all right they let another person mess up their whole life talk to me what's the charge about too yeah they allow someone else to mess up their whole life but you know what it's their fault, too, because they allowed it. You know what I'm saying? They did all of that to get you mad. And who's really mad at the end of the day? They are, all right? Because it's their life that's being impacted right now. Mm -hmm. The devils at play in their relationship, their life, whatever they got going on here. Yeah, we have the letter A. All right, so the letter A could be significant if allowed. Okay. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so this is initials. First, middle, last initial. Could be yours. Could be there. Could be somebody else's. All right, so we have M-Y-T. I-C-I. Hold on, guys. A-M. X. X. H. J. Junior high school could be significant confirmation iq somebody's iq is kind of slow somebody's slow we have high school we have junior high school somebody could have dropped out of high school junior high school you know them from junior high school high school i'm getting um somebody was making slow decisions all right we have gs hov um hov is the fast lane like somebody wanted to skip traffic and take the fast lane but I'm getting, you know, sometimes when you take the HOV lane, um, the express lane, sometimes a lot of people take that lane, too, because they want to go fast, too. And you end up actually having traffic in the HOV lane. And then the regular traffic is smooth. So I'm getting something like that happen where they took the fast lane because they wanted to, like, climb fast to prove a point to you or something like this. And then they ended up, like, actually hitting traffic. And the traffic on the regular lane was, like, real smooth. So it was a trick, all right? They got tricked by the universe. And, you know, when you're in the HOV lane, you can't hop out because if the cops see you, you get a ticket, all right? We have QOA, SPA, GQE, and then we have the letter F. All right, so they love you nonetheless, but right now they're hiding this love, this very deep love. We have 520 right now, all right? Anything else? Mm-hmm. 520, um, May 20th could be significant. We have the king, no, this is the queen, the queen of water, the queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of water here. All right, I feel like you're not showing them your emotions either. I feel like you love them, but you're not showing them how much you love them because I see you in love. All right, they went fishing is what I'm getting here with the fishing rod. Uh-huh. They may they went fishing and they caught like a whole beast, okay? You know the most poisonous fish in the ocean tend to be the prettiest too, right? So they may have went for something that looked good, you know? And then um they got poisoned. All right, we got the shots being fired here with the gun. All right, there could have been a lot of shots fired. 
um, or somebody likes to play with guns. We have the Mickey Mouse kitchen. Someone could be a chef or they throw down in the kitchen. And then we have the unicorn here. All right, so I feel like you're a unicorn, pal, too. I feel like this person didn't know what they had in front of them until it was too late or they're learning what they got in front of them now. All right, and we have here Oakley, Oak drink. All right, somebody could like oat milk or almond milk or like different type of milks. All right, we have here your person. They hurt. They got a boo-boo. They hurt. They're investigating. They're trying to find out what to do. This could be like an injury or something or a health issue. All right, because I see them like searching something up. Something's hurting them and they're looking something up. Could be like on Google. Yeah, they slipped and tripped. And look, it looks like traffic. All right, somebody could live in the city. All right, they tripped and slipped. Now they got to start over. They're angry. All right, yeah. They, it's giving like a lot of gifts. All right, so I'm getting like, um, they're going to come crying to you. They're going to want to give you a lot of gifts to start over. Like, they're going to gift you a lot and ask you for a new beginning. <laughs> That's going to be on you, pal, too, okay? Because, honey, um, listen to your own intuition and discernment, but this is messy. <laughs> it's on you if you feel like you can hold the load. All right, but your sister Jalissa says, um, next. <laughs> but it's on you again. All right, I love y'all so much. I really do. And I am so happy I was here to do this reading for you. Guys, let me know how you feel about your reading in the comments down below. If you haven't already, definitely do subscribe. Thank you in advance. Hit that bell button for notifications whenever I do post. Guys, if you connected with me here, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that we tapped in and I and I did a good reading for you. I read your person, your situation well. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That really, like, you know, gets me going. <laughs> it's the gasoline to my tank. Bless. Um, but, yeah, I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the comments or the next one. I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. If anybody wants to book me, my link is listed down below. Take advantage for a limited time. Bless. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Deuces. Hello there, pal three. How are you doing, baby? If you chose the raccoon, you are at your reading. Blessed. Let's connect. Blessed. Pal three, side note, I feel like there's a gift coming in for you. Okay. This could be a spiritual gift because bubbles touched on my purple light. All right, so you could be gifted spiritually, and I'm getting some things unlocking. Either your intuition is becoming much more clear, more intense. Like, I'm getting a gift coming in from the universe for you, Pal 3, and it's going to help you in one way or another. Maybe this is a download or an intuition hit to do something or pursue something that brings you in a blessing. This is Bubbles, my cat. She barely comes on camera anymore, but she's here for you, Pal 3. <laughs> She's here. She's making her appearance. All right, so let's connect. All right, we're going to talk about your person. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It kind of looks like Bubbles, right? Look, Bubbles. Look at her. She has like that white and black kind of face look. <laughs> um, And she also has a black tail and it's giving. All right, so okay. Anyway, <laughs> just an observation. All right, so the raccoon, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this could be in their chart. Or you, if you don't know their natal chart, you should definitely check it out. Um, with this raccoon energy, we have someone that's very talented, confirmation. We have someone here that's very talented. I feel like your person is talented. They're either in some sort of spotlight or they're pursuing a spotlight. I'm getting... um. Someone that likes to show out, okay? But I'm getting right now, they may be hiding from you, okay? So this star energy is hiding from you is what I'm getting. Or they're kind of shy right now when it comes to you, this connection. Um, I'm getting an artist. So nonetheless, regardless of whatever it is that they do for a living, I'm getting they're an artist. They have a lot of creative energy within them, for sure. But right now, they're kind of in this nocturnal energy. Maybe they're out at night a lot. Or they tend to be up late at night, okay? They don't really, like, at least right now, they're not really waking up early is what I'm getting. Or they're having difficulties with sleep. 
Mm-hmm. I'm getting a musician too. So for some of you guys, your person could be a musician. They're definitely into music. So even if they don't create music, they are very much into music. They dedicate songs to people they love. Okay. Now I'm getting an unresolved bubbles. She just tipped my Christmas tree over. All right. So something about the holidays. I'm getting um an unresolved issue between you and your person, pal three. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that your person could have a stage name. I, I keep pulling that. There's something about a name, a stage name or some sort of popularity. Um, They tend to wear a mask. What I'm getting is that no matter how popular they are or how well they are doing in their endeavors, they tend to use this to disguise who they really are, if that makes sense. All right. It's kind of like um a way of protection. This is the way they heal themselves. Heal themselves. Okay, I guess. They heal themselves through their endeavors. She's like eating my tree now. <laughs> Christmas is definitely significant. I feel like something's coming in in Christmas. All right. Around Christmas, the end of December. I'm get, I'm sensing something. Hold on. You got to go. Yeah. Either you're going up there or you're going down there, but you got to go because you're doing too much. All right. So I'm getting that your person may have done too much or they're doing too much right now. They have a lot going on. All right, I'm getting success, though. I'm getting they're either successful as we speak right now or they're working towards success. Um, They do tend to wear a mask. Who they are on stage or who they present to the people isn't really who they are behind the scenes or who they are in their personal life, okay? So I'm getting, a, I'm getting someone that wears a hat, all right? They wear a different hat where they go because they're very professional, all right? Or at least this is how they come off as a professional person. So they're a certain person to their fans or to their coworkers, their people, their colleagues. They're one person to them, but then outside they're a whole different person. I am getting that. Um, they t they tend to limit themselves at times. They have this insecurity when it comes to their art, their craft, their creativity, their endeavors. Um, but they're ready is what they're showing me. They're ready to grow at this moment. That's what they're really focused on. Their shine. They're focusing on a glow up. They're focusing on some sort of shine. They want to shine bright like a diamond. Um, they tend to get people hooked and they don't let people off the hook, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay um but there's a fear here when it comes to their creativity like they're not going to be good enough i feel like this person um does tend to deal with a lot of insecurity like they could be doing perfectly fine they could have they could be really admired admired and have like a lot going on but they tend to not see it all right they tend to work hard and you know put in a lot of effort and stuff because they don't acknowledge their own talents how everybody else does which is cool because that means they're always going to be hungry and humble in a sense um but then at the same time you know it's sad because they don't see it until further down the line how much they have impacted people so i'm getting this person impacts people with their career whatever it is that they do um yeah when your person is in balance they're a generous friend all right, they're very giving, very loving. Um, they're an exceptional artist. They they do really good work when they're balanced, when they're in good energies, high frequencies. Man, their work is like phenomenal. Whatever the, whatever it is they create or they do, it's like amazing. But when they're in unbalanced energy, your person tends to be very competitive. They tend to compare themselves to other people. Um they tend to act like a starving artist, like they need to do above and beyond, you know, even though they could be very successful. But that's when they're out of whack or when they're in an imbalanced, unbalanced energy. OK, now let's go into your music. So this is my music oracle cards. This is this deck is available for pre-order right now. It's volume three. And it will deliver in January. The reason it's available is because I have a big sale right now. So take advantage. My link is down below. All right. So your first song is Right By Your Side. Wait, no. Right By My Side. Nicki Minaj featuring Chris Brown. And I named this card I Miss You. So it goes like this. It all comes down to this. 
I miss your morning kiss. I won't lie. I'm feeling it. You don't know. And I'm missing it. I'm so dumb. I'm just, I must admit, it's too much to hold it in. I can't say no more than this. I just hope your heart hear me now. Gotta let you know how I'm feeling. You own my heart. He just renting. Don't turn away. Pay attention. I'm pouring out my heart. Oh boy, I'm not living life. I'm not living right. I'm not living if you're not by my side. Aww. All right, so your person feels a little dumb right now. They feel slow, all right? Um, your person's saying here that somebody's renting, but you own it, their heart. So somebody's occupying their heart right now, but it's for rent. It's a lease. All right, so there's like, you know, a deadline, an expiration date for that relationship. They know it. So it's like a rebound. I'm getting they have a rebound around them or they're just talking to someone or dealing with someone for the moment. But you own their heart. They miss you. And then we have Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. And I named this card Thirsty. I'm bringing Sexy Back. Yeah. Them other haters don't know how to act. Yeah. Come, let me make up for the things you lack. Yeah. Because you're burning up, I gotta get it fast. Yeah. Take them to the bridge, that's it. Dirty babe, uh-huh. You see these shackles, baby? I'm your slave. I'll let you whip me if, I'm, if I misbehave. It's just that no one makes me feel this way. Uh-huh. All right, so honey, pal three, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting BDSM. All right, somebody's really freaky. Somebody's really kinky in the bedroom. Okay, they have a lot of kinky ideas about you and them in the bedroom. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> they're saying they're your slave, so they're down for whatever. Um, when it comes to the bedroom, I'm getting you own them, whether you know this or not. That's what they're telling you here. You own me, and I'm thirsty for you. I miss you. I want you. I want you back. I want that sexy thing back. I want my baby back. All right. Um, I don't know when this expiration date is for this person who is leasing their heart, but I'm getting, they don't want that. Whatever is going on there, they don't want it. Mm -hmm. So they got someone right now. It's a rebound. And they miss you. They want that sexy back. <laughs> they want their thing back. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to um, lay out the cards and channel your message. Bless. <laughs> OMG. They hiding their feelings for sure with the raccoon. Because the raccoon tends to hide. It doesn't show out. Even, no matter how popular or how cool or how much reputation they have, like they tend to hide. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing them hiding. Mm -hmm. All right, so spirit, talk to me. What would Pal Three's person like to say to Pal Three? Confirmation on my phone. All right, so we have here. How do you want that to fall? We have judgment in reverse. All right, give me more spirit. Thank you. The sun. the hierophant in reverse wow these are all major arcanas whoa this is an intense connection wow this is a life-changing connection i feel like your life changed when you met them all right ever since you met them your life changed we have the world oh nah i know for a fact they changed you this connection changed you what uh, i'm not gonna tell you what i'm getting but i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to you in a second hold on hold on we have the Ten of Wands. Mm-hmm. It's heavy. All right. And then we have the Nine of Swords at the back of the deck. All right. So let's let's see what I got here. I pre-shuffle these cards for you. Let's see. All right. So we have Express Your Love. Separation. Dismiss. Fearless soul. 
bump in the road. Roots. Grow. Use the moon. It's given Pisces. We also have Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Moving on. I want to lay with you until I'm old. Chaser. Summer. Substance abuse. Apology. Sacrifice. Lady Venus. It's giving Libra. Taurus. The world. More major arcana, even in the oracles. <laughs> Creativity, you see? Somebody's very creative. It's a celebration. Queen B. Disguise. Tease. Twin flame recognition. Friend zoned. I just got a cold draft. All right, I feel like something cold's coming in all right but let's get it let's go spirit help me channel this message here today for part three thank you hey baby i hope you're good i hope you're blessed there's so much i want to get off my chest there's so much i want to tell you there's so much i want to show you this time apart between me and you has been extremely difficult. It has. I was in denial nonetheless when it comes to us, our connection. I made mistakes. There was errors in my judgment when it came to you. And you know what? Now I'm realizing that the errors in my judgment, the way I viewed you, was some sort of reflection. Because I wasn't taking a look in the mirror myself. I blamed you or made a decision off of something that I didn't have any concrete proof on. But you know, I used that as an excuse to dismiss this love. To dismiss this connection. Because deep down inside, I was scared. I felt something with you I never felt with anyone else before. And I was scared to change. You shed light on my demons. You shed light on my shadow. And I wasn't ready to change. So I blamed you. And this made me feel comfortable with my decision. With breaking free and letting go. But I feel like that was the worst mistake I could have ever made. But I do feel like everything happens for a reason. I'm sorry that I celebrated while you were in pain. I'm sorry that I was confused at the time and made a poor decision. I thought I was going to be victorious. But it's clear that I wasn't. And I'm here to let you know that. I ran. And that's what I typically do when I get scared. I hide. No matter my name, no matter the stage, no matter the audience, no matter the reputation, I'm still human. And I'm still... I still have the right to be shy and to be insecure. So believe it or not, no matter how much I boast or how strong I come off or confident I come off, I'm deep down inside really soft. And I tend to hide when I'm scared. 
and this relationship scares me because it makes me feel something I never felt before. It makes me feel so warm inside. It makes me feel so happy. It makes me feel like a child again. You give me butterflies. You make me feel strong. You make me feel like I could conquer the world. It's so addicting. Your energy, who you are as a person, you're so bright. You're so courageous. You're so bold. It makes me feel high. I can't help it. I love watching you. I love seeing you work. I know, I know, you may be confused, like, what? But I do. I love watching you work. There's something about you and how you do things and how people gravitate towards you. And your energy is so sweet. It's addicting. And I feel like I'm addicted to you. At first, I was like, what's wrong with me? Did, did, did they put a spell on me? What's going on? Why, can't, why am I so hooked? Why can't I let go? I let go mentally, but I did not let go emotionally or spiritually. I fooled myself when I thought that I was just possibly fooling you. And I apologize for that. I'm at a different place in my life right now. I've learned a major lesson. And trust and believe that I hit a lot of bumps in the road. And now the way I'm looking at life and the way I see things is different. You shed light on my shadows, the fact that I wasn't ready for a commitment, the fact that I was non-traditional. And this scared me because no one has ever read me the way you read me. So I had to run because I didn't want to admit you were right. I didn't want to give you those bragging rights. That was really childish of me. I see that now. I feel like if I could go back, I would change so much between us. But we can't do that, right? We just learn from our lessons. And I feel like I learned a very valuable lesson with you. You taught me something. And you showed me that there are special people in this world. And you are one of them. You ground me. You make me feel things no one has ever made me feel. And I, I feel like I need to get this off my chest because I've been holding on to this for a while. My feelings for you run very deep. You are the world to me. I just don't know how to express this because I may seem crazy or I may come off thirsty. And that's really not my steez. That's really not my style. So I don't even know how to really open up about this or how to express this because it's a lot. There's a lot I have I've been holding on to. There's a lot I want to tell you. And I feel like this is this connection here is a challenge. And other connections were easier. And so I said, why challenge myself when I could take the easy road? But man, was it boring. Man, is it not satisfying? Man, can I not stop thinking about you? And now I'm thinking about the challenges and I'm thinking it's worth it. I want to lay my seeds with you. I do. But I'm scared. You know why? Because I feel like I fucked it up. I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're not interested in me. I feel like we're going our separate ways and time just keeps bringing us further and further apart. I want to chase you. This is the goal. The goal is to chase you, run after you, and make things right between us. So we could lay down and cuddle till we're like really old and wrinkly. I want to kiss you. If only you knew how beautiful you really are. I see you, not just your exterior, your looks, your vessel. I see you, the person inside, your soul. And it's so beautiful. I love your creativity. I love your art. I love your expression. It's 
it shows a part of your soul. When you express yourself, when you show your creativity, I can see your soul in your work, and it's just so beautiful. I want you to know that you are amazing, and I don't think you take time to actually notice how amazing you truly are. You are amazing. You are also brilliant is what I feel. Like, you really turn me on. Like, you really stimulate my mind. And not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of people could get me going. From one artist to another, not a lot of people get me going. You get me going, baby. Because it's that mind. It's that art. It's that energy. It's the soul for me. It's not about the exterior stuff. I get enough of that. That's whatever. You know, it's kind of superficial at this point. So I'm not even looking for that anymore. Before, I valued appearance. Now it's different. Now I value the vibe, the frequency. Ever since I met you, you made me feel something that nobody could replace and nobody could feed me. I am so thirsty for you. I want to make love to you. I miss you so much. Yeah, I'm with someone right now, but that's just like a rebound. That's just someone that's saving space. I'm making room for you. I want you. I know I want you. I hope you want me, but I feel like you've moved on. I don't feel like you're going to want me, to be very honest. I feel like you have this whole new life, or at least that's the way it comes off to me. That's that's how I feel. You're making a new life, and I don't know if there's room for me in this new life. Maybe I'm old news. I hope I'm not. I want to reward you. I want to gift you. I want to spoil you. I want to give you everything I got. Why? Because I owe you so much. You gave me something that no one has ever given me. And that is genuine love. You love me for me, not for my name, not for my clout, not for what I got going on. And that is really hard to find in such a shallow world these days. I love you. And I'm addicted to your energy, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it when the cause and the cure is you. <laughs> the cause and the cure is you, baby. I don't know. Should I go back to it? Should I heal from it? What do I do? Where's rehab? I don't know. Nothing has really worked to this point, so I, I'm i just going to apologize. I just need to apologize. I don't care. What I got to do, I'm going to do it. And the way I'm going to apologize is really non-conventional. It's really not traditional. But, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it my own twist. I'm going to come in. I'm going to apologize to you. I am definitely going to tell you sorry for the space and sorry for the distance. I really needed time to figure myself out. I want you to know that my approach will be soft. My approach will be delicate. I don't plan to hurt you. I don't plan to abuse this love ever again if I get another opportunity to be with you I am not gonna take it for granted I'm not I'm not I'm willing to make a big big decision and I'm willing to sacrifice something I'm willing to even possibly let go of my world for our world I'm willing to make sacrifices to be with you you're worth it I hide how I feel, like I said, and you're probably like, really, with this message, because it's coming from my 5D self, not my 3D self. My 3D self is still working really hard to become one with the 5D and open up and be very honest with my feelings. Like I said, I'm very shy. I tend to hide. I tend to hold back is a form of protection for me. I feel like you're teasing me. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I feel like you're teasing me. The things you're posting, the way you're looking, I, I feel like you're teasing me. Are you? I'm curious. <laughs> I love your energy, and I love the way you tease me, and I love your lighthearted vibe. 
I just feel sometimes uncertain. I feel you're so beautiful. You're so attractive. Like, sometimes I don't feel like I'm at your level. My insecurity takes over and I don't feel like I'm good enough. You mirror me, though. That's why I said one artist to another. You are my other half. It took me a while to figure it out. It took me a while to figure it out, but nonetheless, I figured it out. And I'm sorry I friend zoned you. I'm sorry I didn't give this a real chance. I took the easy route. I went for someone I could control. I went for someone who let me control, who let me do whatever I wanted to do. But guess what? It didn't even bring me happiness. It didn't, it never fulfilled me, no matter how many connections, how much freedom, how much control, it did not feed me. The only thing that has ever fed me is you. You make me feel full. You make me feel complete. And I'm being very mysterious right now, and I'm not being direct right now, but I do intend to get out of this friend zone. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be in this fantasy world where maybe we'll become that. Maybe we'll establish something. Maybe. No. F the maybes. I'm going to plant my seeds with you. I have matured a lot and I'm still maturing. And I want my expansion. I want my new life, my new growth to be with you, no matter how heavy it is, no matter how much work I got to put in, no matter how many times I got to reassure you and say sorry and step up. I want that. It's worth it because no one comes close to you. You know how much anxiety, stress and sleepless nights I went through after I left you? My mind was not at ease. I don't care how it looked on the outside or how my life looked like it was flowing or how it was going. It was all BS, a facade for the streets, for the people, for the reputation. Because in reality, I was losing my ish. I was losing sleep. I was stressed out. I was depressed. And I still am a little bit, but I'm actually healing. I'm actually healing. I'm working on my mental health. I'm working on my energy. I'm actually trying to connect to my intuition. I'm curious about my spiritual gifts. And I want to quantum jump with you. I want to leap into a new life with you, no matter how heavy it's going to be. It's worth it. You're worth it. I love you, babe. <laughs> Bless. Damn. All right, so either you friend zone you friend zone them or they friend zoned you. All right, somebody here is definitely a hard worker. All right. Um I feel like they're a hard worker, you're a hard worker. You guys are mirrors. Like I feel like they're you may have connected to the raccoon. You may have been like, I don't know, I think that raccoon is me. All right, because y'all are really mirrors. Y'all really resemble each other and it's crazy. Y'all twins. That I mean, that's what the twin flame connection really is. It's two people that are different physically, but one spiritually. Yeah. And I'm getting they're coming to chase you. All right, so I feel like roles have flipped where um, you may have been the chaser back in the day or, and they were the runner, but I'm getting you're the runner now. They're about to chase you because, honey, I don't know. <laughs> they losing their marbles, okay? And they don't want to lose you, right? They've had some sort of awakening. I feel like they're tapping into their spiritual side. Let's get some charms to get more confirmation. All right. But that is exciting. Who are you, pal three? Who's your person? Because I know y'all popping, <laughs> okay? Um, This gets loud if you're sensitive to noise. I'm going to get your charms. Let's see. Spirit, what are the charms for pal three? One fell on the floor. All right. What fell? Oh, I got it. I think it's cream cheese. <laughs> Yeah, it's cream cheese. Cream cheese fell on the floor. All right. Somebody may really like that. Let's get some initials out here. We have Cancer coming out here with the chariot. We got Peter Pan. 
All right. Somebody's name could be Peter or Wendy. I'm definitely getting a third party because Peter Pan gives me third party vibes with Peter Pan, Wendy, and then Tinkerbell, you know? Everybody played a different role, but there was interferences. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. So now I am going to go into initials, and then we're going to go into the rest. So this is first, middle, last initial. Could be yours, theirs. Take it how it resonates. All right. X, Y, H, A, Q, Z, O, A, J, E, J, S, Q, O, M, A, P, Pennsylvania. I'm also getting Arizona, LA, California, EA. There's a lot of questions here. Somebody has a lot of questions. Somebody wants to give the answers. We have KZ, KV. I don't know where I saw that Z. Oh, There's a Z over there. We have M, G, N. All right. Let's go over here. So we have the chariot. Let's see what other baby tarot we got. All right, we have here the emotional block, and then we have here the nine of swords again in reverse. So you got the nine of swords here in reverse, and then you got the nine of swords here in reverse. Your person has recently gone through some sort of extreme torment mentally, and they're healing right now. They're in this healing phase, like I said. Um, we have the chariot here. Um, something about travel. Y'all could be at a distance. Okay. Travel could be significant. A car could be significant. I'm getting that right now they're focusing on their success. They have blocked off their emotions to heal. Mm hmm. Like right now they're not really concerned on with the love department. Like they could care less. They're not worried about being in love. That's why they have a rebound. This rebound is getting bare minimum energy. They don't really care. Um, it could just be for the image or something like that or for family or something. I don't know. But they're emotionally blocked right now. They're just really focusing on their career and healing because they went through a lot mentally. Like, yeah, I'm getting their hiding out. They're healing mentally and they're emotionally blocked. All right, so they're blocking love is what I'm getting. But after they're done with this, I feel like there's going to be a chase. All right, um, we have a lot of $5 here. This is a lot of money. Yeah, they're getting bank. This person's making money. Mm-hmm. They're used to making money. They like that money. <laughs> All right, so I got racks of money here. Racks, racks, racks. A lot of money here. Wow. All right, so they really get into that bag. Um, That's what they're focused on, confirmation. Yeah, they're going towards success. They're getting they're gaining a lot of success right now. We have 6 10 11. 6 11 June 11th could be significant. All these fives though. 5 could be significant May. Um Peter Pan. Peter Pan. All right, so I'm getting your person likes to have fun, all right? An island could be significant. Um I'm getting that family could be significant. They definitely were letting their inner child take the lead. Okay. They were just willing. It's like they just wanted to have fun. They didn't want to grow up. They're very magical. For sure. I'm getting like, um, there's a change. In their eyes, they're, they're saving people. Like, their inner child wants to be a hero. And I feel like that's what they're working towards. Like, being that they went through a lot in their childhood, I feel like they're wanting to save other people, possibly from childhood trauma or save other people through their work because maybe kids like what they do or there's some sort of sense about kids here, Peter Pan, um, healing kids, saving kids from, like, toxic parents or something. Somebody had a toxic upbringing here. Could be with a mom or a dad or something. Um, but yeah, they weren't ready to grow up, but I'm getting they're growing up now. Yeah, we have welcome. All right. They could have just gotten a new home or they could have, um, um, yeah, either they're buying a new home or they're moving into a new home. I'm getting a new home here. I feel like once they're done transforming, they're going to want to welcome you in. We got basketball here. 
I'm getting they're having a very difficult time like growing up though. Like this journey for them has been very 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 difficult for them to disconnect from that childhood trauma and heal that childhood trauma. I feel like they hide behind money or they hide behind fame, their name. And um we have bagels here. <laughs> Bagel bites. Somebody likes bagels, loves cream cheese. We have a baby here so um, children could be a factor. A decision could have been made because of a pregnancy or a child or family. And it says here, and every hair from hair come lines declines. I don't know what that means to this day. If anybody knows, I know it's like a quote or something. Let me know in the comments. All right, we have pear juice. All right, somebody may really like that. I'm getting your person wanting to like have fun. Yeah, I'm getting like right now they're like a bit blind like people are even telling them like open up your eyes open up your eyes all right they're like quieting the noise there's moments when they do go within though um they could play sports yeah they're like into like having fun possibly third parties threesomes or something they're like quieting the noise they're like satisfying themselves but it's nothing satisfies them the parties, the threesomes, the third party situations, the clout, the this, the that, the money. They're not satisfied. I'm getting that. They're yearning. But they're going to learn and get it. That's the point of their journey. All right, we have oak milk. So somebody could be really healthy. Maybe they don't drink regular milk. Um, No offense to anybody drinking regular milk because I drink regular milk here and there. Okay. <laughs> we have Jolly Ranchers Bites. Somebody could really like Jolly Ranchers um or there could be a jolly rancher memory we have mickey mouse's kitchen all right so somebody likes to cook somebody's a chef they could throw down in the kitchen and more bagel bites <laughs> there's a lot of bagel bites here philadelphia could be significant y'all could have gone there you could be from there um bagel bites and cream cheese dip somebody really likes bagels and cream cheese that's their breakfast choice <laughs> all right and that's that and that's who and that's what's up Patri. I am so happy that you were here with me and that you were able to get this message with me here today. Um, it was a pleasure doing it for you, honestly. You are amazing, Pal3. Remember how creative you are. Remember how talented you are. Put yourself out there. You're meant to shine, boo-boo. And I feel like you need to acknowledge your shine. I feel like you tend to be so busy and, and you work a lot that you kind of forget to sit back and view your rewards view your accolades how far you have come all right i feel like there's a moment here like a little time out vacation needed where you could sit back and actually review how far you have come go down your your um your photo library and check your life out three four five years ago and see how far you have come and then come back and let me know <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to book me for a reading, the link is down below. I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe. All right. And let me know that you connected with me here with this reading here today by giving me a thumbs up. All right. Also by um, subscribing and hitting that bell button. Blessed. I love you all so much. God bless your endeavors, your future, your journey, because I do feel a lot is coming. OK, like I said from the start of this reading, you have a gift coming, honey. And I'm sending you guys so much love, light and everything nice. Mwah. Deuces, bless. <laughs>